Hey guys, it's Brandy at Sewing Back. I'm out in the garden and I wanted to show you um, honestly why you need to spend a little time every day out in your garden um, because I have a pest. I just, if you can see the damage on my Cherokee purple right here. Can you see? And if you see these others where they're like being, uh, whole parts of the plant have been munched down. I'm pretty positive this is a hornworm. I'm looking, but if I step back, they're very well camouflaged. So it's hard to see. I do have a black light. I plan to be out here tonight. I also noticed some on another bed that looks similar. But I actually found, um, I found a couple worms, so I thought, well, maybe that's what it was, because it was more on the actual tomato damage, but that, to me, that looks like hornworm, and they can clean you out. So, I'm going to be out here hunting. If I don't find it in the next few, I'll definitely be out here tonight with my black light, um, makes it easier to find them because they, they're, they've got a neon strip on, kind of like a, I guess kind of like a little line kind of thing on them, and you're able to see them because it's really hard. They just blend in so well, but check your plants, you know, you have to fight for your harvest, <laughs> and the best thing if you have those hornworms yeah, they'll eventually make a pretty butterfly, if that's what you want. But if you want tomatoes, you need to get them out of your garden. So, you can do with that what you want. I can tell you that chickens love them and they're a great source of protein. So, anyway, <laughs> it's kind of a little quick update on looking for pests in the garden. Till next time. Hi guys, so it's later the same day. I told y'all earlier in my garden this morning that I suspected a hornworm, um, but I couldn't find them in all the greenery. And um, I'm not over at the Cherokee purple part of my garden where I was this morning, because before I was there, I was at another part where I thought I might have a hornworm, but then I found these other, like a worm in the tomato, and I thought, oh, well maybe that's what it was until I had went over there. But I looked, I came out here a couple times today and it's like looking for a needle in a haystack and I couldn't find it. So I knew I was gonna come out here with my black light and because it just helps you identify them. So I'm gonna show you uh, what I found. All right guys, so I'm gonna shine, can you see when I shine that? Let's see. Can you see that little booger right there? That's a hornworm. That's what's eating my tomato. And this is a, this is a good time of year to be looking for them. And so I am going to pick him off. And my chickens are down for the night. So he's a big one. I was thinking maybe it was a little one. No, he's a big one. Um, but I'll probably throw it in the run and they'll discover him tomorrow. Um, and there's probably some things in there he can munch on tonight until he meets his fate. So <laughs> that's what I plan to do. Um, but if you start seeing those broken branches on your tomato plants, you definitely want to invest in, I think I paid like four bucks or something like this at Walmart. And, um, get you a black light and go out in the evening it's not fully dark yet because you can still see it's pretty dark it's after nine o'clock but the high school band is still practicing so it's not I guess terribly late and um, you want to get these guys so you can see them I can see them eating in there he's just chowing down while I'm fixing to take him out but anyway, I just wanted to give you an update, and I'm going to go look over all my Cherokee purples, and um, we'll see if I find another one. 
chicken feed. Glorious, glorious chicken feed. <laughs>